Wyatt Swain. Some of you know me as Mr. Tig. Right now, I'm at the 2012 Advanced Motorsports Welding Seminar at the corporate headquarters of Lincoln Electric. This particular seminar is pretty unique because we cover a lot of materials such as aluminum, stainless steel, ink and L. In this particular segment, we're going to cover titanium. So you can see that I've got my favorite machine here. And the reason it's become my favorite machine is over the years, I've had to travel throughout the country, uh, mostly at the racetracks, sometimes the airfields, and I don't necessarily have 220 power or 208 power, so uh, it's always a surprise. Uh, if I only have 115, then that's what I uh, use this machine for. You can see this is portable. It goes up to 205 amps, uh, AC, DC. Uh, it just it runs a great arc. Okay, there's, there's several features on this machine that are easy to use. And I had mentioned that it's AC, DC. And if you look at the front of the machine, it's just extremely intuitive, meaning it's just easy to use. You know, and, and we guys, we don't like looking at instruction manuals. So take a look at this panel, and this little white button right here allows you to scroll through and decide whether you're gonna go AC, DC. I, I happen to be on AC right now, so I'm gonna do aluminum and magnesium on the AC function. Okay, now let's, let's take a look at this, this white function button here, the second one, and it says, 2S or 4S, and what that means is you can select 2S or 2-step is really what it stands for, or 4-step. Uh, what I want to do is I want to run it on 2-step because I'm going to put a foot control on and I want that pedal to activate the argon gas. There's a little solenoid in here that comes on. Now, if I decide that ever I want to go to 4-step, I can put a button on my TIG torch and I can go to 4-step and hit a button and get the arc to start and it'll stay completely active until I decide that I want to extinguish the arc and then I hit the button again. So those are two features that you have the choice. So I'm on two-step, I'm going to put a foot control on, so I move over here and there's two little cartoons here. One of them at the top means that if you have the red, the red light at the top, you're going to get what is ever on that that amperage control right here. So it says six amps, that's all I'm going to get. If I toggle it down, there's a variable control symbol. Variable means that my foot control is gonna give me from six amps to 123 amps. Okay, so those are the primary functions on it. Now, this is an inverter power supply and it's very handy to carry, but realistically, why would you buy this over a machine that's a, just a transformer style machine? And the reason you do this is because you have a function in here that, that actually gives you hertz. It's not pulsing, this is hertz, this is frequency that typically you only have 60 hertz coming out of the wall. This machine, you can change it all the way up to 150 hertz. Now what does that do for you? Well, whenever you're welding aluminum, and especially aluminum of fillet weld, then you want the arc to tighten up. If you go high in hertz, the arc chokes down, gets tighter, and it's easier to make that weld. Now I can also hit a button, and down here it's a little more difficult because the cartoons are really, really small to see, but what this controls is my cleaning action. Do I want more cleaning or do I want more penetration? And that's for you to decide. Take a look at your part, see what the oxide layers are, and you can change it accordingly. Now, I prefer to start this out. I like setting it on 75% negative, you know, so I get pretty decent penetration and you can still see the cleaning action. Uh, like I say, if you get a real dirty part, you may want to go to closer to a balanced wave just for the cleaning action. But when you get ready to weld, if you want to drive in there, go to the negative side. If you'd like to know more about the V205T, you can go to lincolnelectric.com.